As a woman, the gym can be a very uncomfortable place. We're taught from a young age that we don't really belong in the gym, and if we do end up in the gym, it should solely be to spend 30 minutes on the treadmill or do a Pilates class. Definitely never ever are we supposed to set foot in the weight section and do the types of exercises that people tend to associate with men and with masculinity. But with the rise of social media, there have been a lot more women stepping foot into the gym. Social media is how I got introduced to weightlifting and it's become a really big thing for women to enter the weight section and lift weights and do these exercises that we used to associate with men. In my experience with weightlifting, I have found that it can be an extremely empowering activity to engage in as a woman, and it's one of my favorite aspects of my life. I love doing it, I love feeling stronger mentally and physically, and I am here to tell you, to tell all the women out there, that what we have been taught about the types of exercises that we are supposed to do is not true we belong in the weight section just as much as a man does and we're actually incredibly strong i was amazed at what i was able to do right off the bat in the gym and then now now that i've been in the gym lifting weights for years and years i am so impressed by how strong i am and others are too yeah i really do just feel like the experience of lifting weights as a woman is a very powerful experience and it helps us overcome the box that society has placed us in that tells us that we are supposed to be weak and vulnerable and soft and helpless and that's just not the case. We're strong, we're powerful, we're capable of doing so many things that we don't often see women doing. Weightlifting just really helped open my eyes to all of that. I went from being very thin and frail and seeing myself as weak and helpless and incapable of protecting myself. I was so scared to be on my own at night. I would avoid that at all costs, which definitely affected my life and how I went about making plans. I was very dependent on my boyfriend. I didn't like to go anywhere alone and so it affected my life in all these different ways to see myself as so weak and helpless and once I started lifting weights that completely changed for me and I started to see myself as so strong and so capable and I had no problem being out on my own at night anymore. I didn't have this fear in the back of my mind all the time. I gladly will go do things alone no problem so it really just transformed my life in so many ways and i'm just now realizing that actually because a lot of times we just live our lives and we don't really acknowledge these things but the transition in my mindset and in being able to do all these things that i didn't do in the past because of fear was closely linked to lifting weights and to the fact that that caused me to now see myself as a strong woman which transformed how I live my life so the impact that weightlifting has on our minds and how we view ourselves is really powerful and something that I think any woman who even has the slightest interest in getting into the weight section should do so and should experience this transformation for themselves so although I highly recommend getting into the weight section for all women, I think it's a great thing to do. There are definitely some barriers that we have to overcome in doing so that again are closely linked to what society has told us about ourselves and the picture that's painted to us of women in general. And so it's something that is not easy to do for the average person. There's a lot of discomfort and fear that comes into play when you first set foot in the weight section as a woman. And so I definitely experienced that when I first started going to the gym. 
I was terrified of the weight section. I would look over there and just see all these big men lifting super heavy weight, looking super confident in what they were doing, and I was terrified to get anywhere near that section, so I didn't. And it was unfortunate because I definitely had this desire to lift weights, but I just didn't see myself fitting into that dynamic and into that environment, and so I stayed away. And it took me a couple of years to actually go over there and try to lift weights. And I'm so glad I did, but that is to show that it was not an easy thing for me and it took time. There are things that I have begun to do and that I did when I first started lifting weights that really helped me feel more comfortable and confident being in that section as a woman. And those are the things that I want to share with you in this video because I think that they will truly help anyone who is at the beginning phase of their lifting journey. The first thing that I would recommend is to watch videos of women online lifting weights. This is a very powerful thing to do because you will be able to see women lifting heavy weights, looking confident and strong, and that will start to shift your mindset about what women should and shouldn't do. And seeing other women lifting weights will lead to you being able to see yourself doing so. I would also suggest investing in a workout plan. I have talked about this in other videos. I think it's very important to go into the gym with a game plan because if you go to the gym not really knowing what you're going to do, you are going to feel a lot less confident and comfortable and you're going to spend a lot more time looking around, trying to figure out where to go, what to do, and this is just going to take away from the experience as a whole and definitely not going to help you in feeling good and like you belong there so i would say investing in a workout plan whether it's buying one from someone online or honestly you don't even need to necessarily invest in one there are free workout plans you can find online you could make one for yourself whatever that looks like for you just making sure that you know what you're gonna do when you're in the gym is going to lead to much more confidence and will make it a more comfortable experience for you definitely figure out which types of gym clothes you feel most comfortable and confident in some women like to wear baggy clothes sweatpants sweatshirts some women like to wear the opposite and tight leggings and a cute sports bra that's what i that's what I typically wear to work out. So figure out what it is that works with you, works with your style, and again, leads to you feeling the most confident and comfortable possible. I will link some really great workout clothes in the description that you can find through Amazon that I recommend and I think are affordable and a good option when it comes to choosing some clothes to wear in the gym. Another recommendation I have for you that I think really helps is to find a gym buddy find another woman who also really wants to learn how to lift weights and make a point to go to the gym together so whether you already have a friend who is also interested in going to the gym that's a great option but maybe you don't know anyone in your personal life who wants to go to the gym or who already does go to the gym in that case i would say Utilize social media. There are tons of women posting their fitness journey online and there are many of them in your area, I'm sure, and it's very easy to reach out to someone online and ask if they'd be interested in doing a workout together or if they have any tips for you. Just making that connection with a woman who is lifting weights that can be a really powerful resource in this process. I do want to add with that though, to be mindful, make sure you are not treating them like a personal trainer. I say this because there is a lot that goes into lifting weights. There is a lot that needs to be learned and many of us who have been lifting weights for a long time, it's taken us years and years to learn these things and so there shouldn't be this expectation that this woman that you're lifting with is just going to teach you everything she knows and help you get your form perfect and all of that because that would be expecting a lot honestly that would be expecting her to kind of put her own workout aside and focus on helping you which is the job of a personal trainer not 
of a friend or acquaintance that you are just wanting to work out with. So be mindful of that. Otherwise, I would say that the number one thing that plays a huge role in feeling comfortable and confident in the gym is experience. So as long as you uh, make a continued effort to go to the gym and to be in that environment, you will ultimately begin to feel more comfortable and eventually you're going to be completely unfazed by setting foot in the gym and that's really something that is going to happen with time so although i think these other tips that i have mentioned are very useful and will help you feel more comfortable right off the bat there's nothing that will take away that discomfort entirely it's just going to be a matter of consistently putting yourself in that environment and eventually you're going to get to a place where you feel like you belong there That's definitely how I feel. I'm completely unfazed setting foot into the weight section these days. I 100% feel like I belong there. It doesn't matter if every other person in there is a man. I don't pay any mind to that. I just go there and get my workout done and I'm fully confident in that situation. But that is not how it was for me when I started at all. And the number one thing that led to me feeling like that now is the fact that over the years, I have consistently spent a lot of time in the gym lifting weights. The last thing I want to mention is that I think it helps a lot to get in your zone when you're at the gym. And by that, I mean, get into a place where you're able to really focus on you and focus on what you're there to do and not be so focused on what those around you are doing that is definitely easier said than done i get so distracted all the time to this day i am just curious and i want to see what people are doing and hear what people are talking about but that can really take away from confidence and from your workout so Whatever you need to do to get in the zone, I always feel like I need to have music. I need to have earbuds in with music playing. That way I can really tune out what's going on around me. And I try to not look around too much either when I'm in between exercises. I will literally just look at the floor or stare at the weights or look at myself in the mirror, but I try really hard not to look around because it's very distracting and just gets you out of your zone. And that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope these tips help you. I'm so excited for you to get to a point where you feel strong and you feel capable because you are those things and I truly believe weightlifting can help you see yourself as those things. Like this video, comment down below your experience and I'll see you in the next one.